Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're in a different location. I'm currently in the parking lot of Target and today we are going pop hunting. So this is not my first pop hunt, obviously. This is just the first pop hunt I'm showing you guys on the channel. Usually whenever I do a pop hunt, I hit several stores because no store is near me except for like Target and Walmart. So I drove over to my local box lunch, which is like 45 minutes from my house, a bunch of cities over. So I came over here, but across the street from that box lunch is a Target. So I'm gonna run in Target first, see if I can find some pops for cheaper since theirs are $8.99. And today they're having a 20% off sale on like kids gifts and toys and stuff and pops are included. So I'm gonna see what I can find in here. Then I'm gonna go across the street to box lunch and pick up some stuff from over there. I have one thing in particular I'm going for and then the rest I'm gonna kinda see what I can get. So going to Target, then I'm going to box lunch, and then I'm gonna head over to another part of, of the state, which is like another 45 minutes away to go to Second and Charles. And then after that, I'm probably I might go to Books a Million, which is like another 30 minutes, or maybe it's like 45 minutes from where the Second and Charles is. And then after that, I'll probably go home. I should be done by then. So let's go. Oh yeah, I also need to show you guys the hunting pack. So these are some of the pins that I have. These are Lion King ones that I picked up from the Disney store. They were super cute in a pack and Lion King is my favorite Disney movie so I had to get them. This is a little Explorer pin that I got from this guy on Instagram. He makes some pretty cool stuff. He does a lot of artwork too and it's amazing. Then those are the Bob's Burgers pins that we opened in our hot cash video. And then these are two little keychains of Ruby and Sapphire on their wedding day. They're freaking amazing. You guys remember this from another video. So yeah, that's the hunting pack. This glare is something crazy. So it's hard to see in all of its shining glory. The lighting looks weird, but that's what the pack looks like. So let's go on Target and go hunt. I am definitely gonna get some of these from the display. Like, oh my God. So I never played burger time but this game reminds me of Bob's Burgers in one episode where they were playing an arcade game and his rival wrote Bob Sucks <laughs> on the game but I freaking love Mappy me and my stepdad used to play it all the time uh I mean I like Pac-Man I'm just not that good Galaga's good so I'm definitely gonna pick up some of these for the display but just not quite yet but I didn't even know they made Mappy. Mappy is a go for sure. Like, it's my freaking game. This Target sucks. I thought that no Target could suck worse than mine, but looks like yep, looks like we have a winner on the sucky Target. <laughs> That is a huge honey pot compared to the one that we have. It's kind of awesome. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Look at it. It's when they drew a face on Pooh's butt when he got stuck. That's hilarious.
Surprise! Whoop, 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 whoop. It's so funny because they put Bob together, so like it's Bob's burgers on this side and Bob's, Bob Ross on that side. That's so funny. I'm definitely getting this coloring book, just not from here. Here it's $17. I think on Amazon it's probably like $10 or something like that, but it's a pretty cool coloring book, I should say. Like, it's got a bunch of really good scenes from different episodes. And I think it comes with stickers too in the back. Let's take a look. Yep. Stickers. Not the most, but it's not a sticker book. It's a coloring book. Alright, nerds. So we're back from the hunt. We went to several places. We went to Box Lunch. We went to two Targets. We went to Books a Million and Second and Charles. The places we did not go were FYE, Hot Topic, and Barnes and Noble. But since we went to Box Lunch first, I'm going to show you what we got from there. We only ended up picking pops from two places. We got pops from Box Lunch and one of the targets that we went to. So, the first pop that we picked up from Box Lunch um, wasn't even a pop that I was like looking to get, but I'll explain why I got it in a few minutes. So I got Ralph from the new Rick It Ralph movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet. That's him. That's what he looks like. Box. So I'm super excited for this movie. It comes out in like three days, I think, from when I'm recording this. Um, I'm definitely ready to go see it. I'm not going to see it like the day it comes out, unfortunately. I might see it that weekend or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I got Ralph. Um, I don't have any of the rest of the pops from this line because I wasn't in a rush to get them. I definitely am going to get them, but I wasn't like trying super hard to get them right now because they're still going to be around just like the Incredibles I didn't get those yet but they're still around I mean if you see I do have um the 8-bit Ralph and Felix from SDCC now that they have these new Ralph Breaks the Internet pops I actually might try to sell those the next pop that we got from Box Lunch is actually the one that we were there for this is the reason that I even wanted to go to Box Lunch for sure during the hunt so that pop is Winnie the Pooh. So this is Winnie the Pooh from the newer Christopher Robin movie. I think I told you guys about that in a different video when I unboxed the uh, Honey Pot. But yeah, this is flocked Winnie the Pooh from the movie with his little balloon. So let me go ahead and pop him out of the box. Oh, he's heavy. He's nice and solid. Oh, crap. His neck is all skewed. It's okay. I'm just fixing him, pop him back in place a little bit. So this is what he looks like out of the box. This is little Pooh with his little balloon and his sweater and he's flopped so his, his uh, body is like fuzzy wherever you see his um, fur tone. And then like I was saying his head is like a little askew from his body. <laughs> I mean it's not a big deal it's kind of like he's looking off to the side a little bit which is fine. So I go up to the counter and the guy was like, hey, why don't you go get another pop? They're two for 18. And I was about to say because exclusives don't count. But he stopped me and was like, we're actually including exclusives this time. We don't normally do that. But for some reason, like, the exclusives are included. And I was like, all right, let me go find another pop. So then that added another 30 minutes to my trip there because I'm so indecisive. So I just ended up going with Ralph. I figured this was the best bang for my buck because I do want these pops. I just haven't gotten around to buying them yet. All right, on to the next store. Okay, so like you guys saw, I went to two Targets. The first one, trash. But the second one, beautiful. They had all the pops that I wanted except for one. I wanted four pops in particular, maybe five. But it turns out the three that I got are the only three I'm going to get out of the four I originally thought. So I ended up getting three of the newest Mickey Mouse Pops from the Mickey's 90th um, anniversary little line. So the first one I got, I'll go in numerical order. The first one I got is Apprentice Mickey. Okay, so this is what Apprentice Mickey looks like with his water, with his buckets of water. He looks super cute, super good. So the next one that we got from this line is conductor mickey i love this one too i love i love this scene um super dope super awesome all right so this is conductor mickey in his little in his little tuxedo looking super sharp and dapper on us 
So the last pop that we got from this line, and probably the last one we're going to get besides the Fantasia movie moment one, is the Brave Little Taylor. Okay, so this is the last pop that we picked up. This again is the Brave Little Taylor. I freaking love this pop. I think this is my favorite one of the Mickey line. Not the favorite one that we picked up during the hunt, but definitely my favorite one from the Mickey. I love his hat. It's freaking dope. I low-key want to buy another one of these so that I can take the hat off and use it for a custom that I'm going to be making. But I won't do that, I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. I love the scissors. That's a great detail. You know, his little pouch. That's so cute. And I also really love his little stance. Like, they did an awesome job on this pop. Super dope. He's super freaking cute. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And let me know in the comment sections which one of these pops was your favorite that I picked up during my hunt today. And did you like me going on a hunt and then showing you guys what I got after? If you want to see more of those type of videos, then let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy. And remember, guys, keep it nerdy.